Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to make RPM meter with Arduino. So let's get started. Welcome back guys. First we'll see the connection between Arduino board and this LCD and then we'll see the whole connections, okay? Now as we know uh, this LCD having 16 pins, pin number 1 to 16. Now we'll see which pin of LCD is connected to which pin of Arduino board. Okay. Now here we have the first pin as VSS and it should be connected to ground. VDD is connected to plus 5 volt. V0 is connected to potentiometer. The middle pin of potentiometer. Okay. I'll show you how to connect first we have to see this okay the RS that is a register pin it is connected to pin number 13 of Arduino board here are the pins from 0 to 13 okay these are all digital pin so we are going to connect this pin number 13 okay the RW pin that is read and write it is connected to ground the enable pin and it should be connected to pin number 12 of the Arduino okay after enable pin it has D0, D1, D2, D3 like this okay so we are not going to use D0 to D3 we will use from D4 okay so D4 is connected to pin number 11 of Arduino board D5 is connected to pin number 10 D6 is connected to pin number 9 and D7 is connected to pin number 8 of Arduino board and the last two pin that is pin number 15 and 16 it is written as A and it is connected to plus 5 volt K that is cathode it is connected to ground now these two pins are for LED of the LCD okay if you want that LED then you can connect or without connecting this this LCD will work okay here we have the potentiometer it having two pins at this side and only one pin at this side so the middle pin is this pin okay so this pin is connected to V0 pin and other side one pin is connected to ground and the another to plus VCC now see here is our potentiometer one pin is connected to plus 5 volt another is connected to ground and the middle pin it is connected to V0 that is this pin okay now put LCD here the first pin that is pin number 1 is connected to ground VDD pin is connected to plus VCC now we need potentiometer middle pin of potentiometer is connected pin number 3 of LCD here our Arduino board pin number 4 is connected to pin number 13 of Arduino ok the RW pin is connected to ground the enable pin that is pin number 6 is connected to pin number 12 of Arduino board this one D4 pin and it is connected to pin number 11 of Arduino board D5 pin is connected to pin number 10 D6 pin is connected to pin number 9 of Arduino D7 pin is connected to pin number 8 cathode pin is connected to ground anode pin is connected to plus VCC okay so this is all about the connection now we have to see the sensor connection the IR sensor in the last video I have explained how to make this sensor by yourself the link in the description below you can watch that one okay here the last pin that is this pin is for view out this pin is connected to pin number 2 of Arduino board the first pin is plus VCC and the middle pin is ground okay the VCC pin is connected to positive rail and the negative pin that is middle pin is connected to ground now one more important connection we have to connect the ground pin of Arduino to the ground rail and the 5 volt pin is connected to plus VCC rail ok now our circuit connection is completed for this project I have also arranged one wheel like this I have colored with black color and one white strip so this sensor can detect one revolution I'm keeping this sensor above this okay now it can get easily 
now this is okay now it's time to see the program and we will upload that so this is the program we are going to upload here all this pin which I have connected to the Arduino board with the LCD and these are all variable now we have used here interrupt service okay here 0 ISR and rising if you are using here 0 then you have to connect pin number 2 with the sensor and if you are writing here 1 then you have to connect pin number 3 with sensor because Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano has only two interrupt pin that is pin number 2 and pin number 3 okay and here it is rising it means whenever the sensor gets from 0 to 1 the Arduino get one pulse and if you using here falling then whenever the sensor gets 1 to 0 then it will get one pulse now we have to use here rising now this keyword milli is it is for calculating the time required for one revolution okay now here this one is time here as we have defined it here and the old time that is initial time we have defined as zero so whenever it gets new time so it will subtract old time from the new time so we will get actual time for one revolution and this is the calculation to get rpm and why it is 60,000 means in Arduino program one second means 1000 milliseconds so 60 second means 60,000 milliseconds and the other part of program is for LCD okay setting the cursor and what to print in the LCD this is for second row and this cursor is for first row in the first row we are going to print RPM tester and in the second row we are going to print the value of RPM so here this value will come and it will print to the LCD and again we are attaching the interrupt service so this is how program will run now let's connect the Arduino board to the system okay now let's upload that one here my Arduino is connected to COM5 and let's check it whether it is connected to COM5 or not yes it is connected now we can upload that one uploading sometime it takes a longer time for uploading yes it is done now we are not seeing anything on the LCD now let's check the potentiometer connection here these two pins are connected ok everything is right now we have to adjust that one yes I think LCD LED is creating some problems so we are disconnecting the LED as I have told you we can disconnect pin number 15 and 16 I have disconnected it now see we can see clearly right now I just again ok now our sensor is working see now I am going to turning on the wheel first at a lower speed Yes, it is showing some some value let's increase the speed okay more speed I'm continue increasing the speed a thousand thirteen hundred rpm now again increasing we will see up to 3000 rpm ok I am continue increasing this speed yes it is 3000 rpm let's in increase more Let's see at 4000 RPM. Yes, it's working nicely. Okay, 
Okay, we should stop that. So this is how we can make RPM meter by ourselves. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another Arduino project. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.